the huge advantage that uh, Tesla is going to have here in Nevada is that they're likely going to be able to launch Robo Taxi without a, uh, a person behind the steering wheel and pedal, like they do in Austin, which is going to allow them to really hone in on the safety profile of the car and to also take an additional step uh, from where they are in Austin, where they are operating without a person behind the steering wheel and pedal outside of the highways. In the highways, they do have a person uh, behind the steering wheel and pedal, but this is going to enable Tesla to really scale up its operations in those regions much quicker than competitors because of the approach that Tesla has taken with the approach with artificial intelligence. We're already seeing this, right? So we saw in Austin, the geofence expanded very rapidly, but it's now going down up and down corridors with highways in Austin. Right now, the company is requiring somebody to be behind the steering wheel and pedal in those highway corridors basically that person in Austin is going from the from the passenger seat to the driver's seat but that now is allow, allowing Tesla to have a pathway to remove the 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 person under every single setting, either highway or not on the highway. A very important distinction to make here versus competition, like Waymo as an example, Waymo does not operate with the public in the highways. So there is an advantage that Tesla already has from a uh, transportation perspective because going through highways is gonna allow people to get to their destinations much quicker than if they, they couldn't. In the Bay Area, I believe Tesla's trying to get to 100 driverless vehicles as quickly as the end of this month and make it available to the public so that people can go from point A to point B. But really, the, the, the key distinction here is that Tesla doesn't really take the next step until they remove uh, the safety rider or the driver from the driverless vehicle. Once they do that, though, they're going to be very well positioned because they already have a app out there in the public that people can download. Right now, if you're in the United States and you're on iPhone with Android coming soon, you can go on the app store, download the RoboTaxi app, get on the wait list,